In this video, I'll show you exactly how to create this accordion using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Upon clicking on the accordion header, it expands to show the content within. And if you notice, the accordion expands in a very smooth manner. Apart from that, whenever we click on an accordion and expand it, the previously expanded accordion closes automatically. And lastly, if you click on the same accordion again after it's expanded, then it closes down. So this is what we are gonna build, let's get started. First, I'll add a bit of HTML in the HTML file. Remember to link your CSS and index.js files like this. Then within the body, I'll add a div with the class of accordion. This is a container div that holds the entire accordion component. This div will contain other individual accordions. So now within the accordion container, I'll add a div with a class of accordion item. Each of these div elements represents a single item in the accordion. Within the accordion item, I'll add another div with a class of accordion header. This div serves as the header of the accordion item. It's the part users click on to expand or collapse the corresponding content. And after the accordion header, I'll add a div with a class of accordion content. This div contains the actual content of the accordion item that will be displayed when the item is expanded. And the content within the div will be a paragraph element saying this is the content of section 1. And then I'll simply repeat this same accordion item structure 3 times and place it within the accordion div. I'll update the content within the other two accordion divs to say this is the content of section 2 and section 3. This is all we need for the HTML. Now let's style it. In the body tag, I'll simply center the accordion and add a font family. Then I'll give the accordion class a width of 300px. So the entire container width is 300px, which will make the individual accordion items to be 300px in width as well. Then I'll style the individual accordion item by giving it a margin bottom of 5px. After that, I'll style the accordion header, which is the div we click to expand the accordion and reveal the content within. I'll give it a background color, padding, cursor of pointer, font weight, and text color of white. After that, I'll style the accordion content, which is the div that expands and contains the content. I'll give it a display of block initially to just see the styling, but then later on I'll give this div a display of none and create a class named active that will give this div a display of block every time the header is clicked. The active class will be toggled using JavaScript, which I'll show later in this video. Now I'll add a max height of 1000px, and this will also be changed to 0 here, I'm just keeping it as 1000 for now to be able to view the styles. Then add a transition to smoothly expand the content div every time the header is clicked. Then I'll give it some padding, overflow of hidden, background color, text color of white, and a border bottom left and right radius of 5px to curve the content div at the bottom. And now that we can see how the content div looks like, let's hide it before styling the rest. So I'll set the display to none and max height as 0, which as you can see, hides the content. And now lastly, I'll style the active class which I'll toggle using JavaScript. This active class will simply add a display of block and set max height to 1000px. Now before moving on to the JavaScript logic part, I'll show you this, where if I hardcode the class of active to the first accordion content, then as you can see, the content becomes visible. I'll remove the hardcoded active class from here to add it dynamically using JavaScript instead. So now let's write the logic. First, create a variable accordion headers that selects all elements with the class name accordion header within the document. These are the header elements of each accordion item. Then I'll select all elements with the class name accordion content within the document. So accordion contents will contain the content elements of each accordion item. Then I'll iterate over each accordion header element. For each header, I'll add a click event listener. So when a header is clicked, the code inside the curly braces here will be executed. Then I'll get the parent element of the clicked header. In this context, it's the whole accordion item. Then I'll find the corresponding content element for that particular clicked accordion item and store it in accordion content. After that, I'll toggle the active class on the clicked accordion content. This class is used to indicate that the content is currently expanded. And then I'll write a conditional statement that checks if the clicked accordion content has the active class. If it does, it means the content is being expanded. If not, it means the content is being collapsed. If the content is being expanded, then I'll set the max height of the content element to its full scroll height. And if the content is being collapsed, then I'll set the max height to zero, effectively hiding the content. So basically this condition allows me to expand and collapse a given accordion item on clicking the header. Now the accordion almost works as expected. However, when I click on a particular accordion item, the previously opened accordion doesn't close. 
To do that, I'll loop through each accordion content element here and ensure that only the clicked content is expanded and all other contents are collapsed. So apart from the content element we actually expanded, if any other content element is expanded, then I'll remove its active class and set its max height to 0. This collapses all content elements except the clicked one. And now as you can see, our accordion works as expected. I'm able to expand and collapse each accordion item and there's also this smooth transition effect. And each time I click on and expand an accordion item, the previously opened accordion also collapses. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.